I was in the fifth form, about 15 or 16 years old, and it was the lunch break and about 15 or 20 of us were in the seniors room, I think that's what they called it. But I back up a couple of years before this incident, when I was generally in all sorts of trouble at school. Scoreboard men hunted me when I didn't turn up for school, which was frequent. And when I did turn up, I was always in hot water. Things just happened around me. It wasn't that I was worse than others. It's just that I got caught more often. At least that's my story. Now, something happened to me one day when I was playing football for the school team. A teammate shouted at me to pass the ball to him using the usual profanity. Well, I walked away from the ball at my feet and I confronted him, telling him that he wouldn't dare to talk to me like that in the classroom. I wasn't going to put up with it out here. Well, he backed off and I left the sports scene, the entire thing, right there and then. In fact, if I remember rightly, I walked off the pitch. I wasn't going to put up with it any longer. It wasn't where I wanted to be. Well, I withdrew from what I saw as an ugly world of ignorance, spitting, swearing, mud and grubby changing rooms. It's not what I wanted to be identified with. If I wasn't actually different, and I probably wasn't, but I wanted to be different. Now, I began to spend my time in old literature, the romantic poets, the Irish writers, Shakespeare. The Bible was still a closed book to me. My dad had a fabulous collection of classical music, and I would listen to that and sit and dream. Why did I dream and what did I dream? Who was it that was disturbing me? Or someone was smiling over me all the time. But back to that day, a couple of years later in the seniors room, there was a lad in the year above me who interested me very much. Call him Jim. He was the only Christian I knew of in the school. He had a great smile, guileless eyes and an irrepressible sense of humour. All the things that attract me to this day. And yes, he had courage, spadefuls of it, something else which is attractive. A formidable teacher once ordered him to read a certain poem on the stage for the morning assembly. But Jim refused point blank. Why? Because there was a blasphemous phrase in it. And he wouldn't shift. Well, on that day in the seniors room, something happened and there was bad feeling in the room. But I'll share what happened in the next video.